Hello, welcome back to another video of Power Automate. In this video, we are going to learn how to write data from Excel to web page using Power Automate. And next, we will see how to get or copy data from web to Excel. So, we will perform all Excel in the for each loop. I have already created a separate video on Excel and web page. So, you can find the link in the description box. If you like the content of this video, so please like the video. One like is a big support for our YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe my channel for more video. So, let's start the video. First, uh, I take Excel, launch Excel action, drag and drop over here. I give the name uh, launch Excel. So, I want to use my already created Excel. So, and open following document. Uh, select the, the import data. Hit. Okay. Now done. Click on save. I take this action and drag and drop over here. So my sheet name is age calculator. So I use this name. Okay. Click on save. Next. Read, read from Excel worksheet. So start here. I take this uh, values from a range of cells. So start column is one, start row is one, and is column. So C and column is four. Next and row and row. So my and row is six. Okay. Six and go to advance, select this option. Okay. Next, uh, so next, I want to take la launch new Chrome. So, here, first of all, I need a URL, so this is the URL copy. Here I want to use one variable. So uh, wait, see this. So for that, I create a new variable. Variable here. So this is the URL, URL, and paste it. So this is the our URL. So so I will use this variable as a URL. So go to launch new Chrome, add it, and here initial URL. So here I use variable. URL okay click on save now done one more variable I want to use for for count so this is a counter okay counter two so, now done so here Till here, launch Excel and launch a Chrome. New Chrome is done. So, first we will check is working or not. Okay, so close. So, run. Open success. Here you can see. Excel sheet open successfully and web page 
also open it successfully. So close and go ahead for each loop. For each loop. Okay. Use this Excel data, click on save. Uh, next, we will take close Excel. Go over here, last. last. Close before. Close browser also, we will take. Drag and drop over here. Okay, click on save. Next, here, here you can see this is the drop down button. So we use here. I take one more accent like drop down. Drop down. Okay, so here this is the set drop down accent. So we will drag and drop over here under this for each loop and here. And add a new UI LS control and left click over here. Where we need here we use our variable this. This is current item. So, and we have to give the name, column name also. So, this is our column name here and square bracket, single quotation, and a single quotation, and our column name. Click on save done next we'll again we will take this accent and add you can see done here again we will select option by name click on this and use our variable the variable name is current item and the bracket single quotation and our column name column name is date we will use this here and click on save okay now second action we will take populate text field okay so we will take this Action drag and drop over here and here add new UI element, seven UI element, current item. Again, we will use this variable current item and square bracket, single quotation, and our that, that is. Column name. So we will use here. Okay. Now click on save. Okay, done. Now I want click on this calculate button. So for that. Uh, Take press button action, drag and drop over here and add new UI, new UI element. See, I need one more action here that is the weight, weight only. So here I take the second bit and now 
get the details is row with seven drop over here add new URL add new URL man this is the our so control and click this is the click done here you can see UI element is captured uh, and here variable produces the attribute value so attribute value our output so click on save so that variable we will use when we will write the excel sheet okay so next uh, I, I take one more action that click or go back to the our uh, age calculator page okay so for that i take click click action add new element Is this where UI element captured content okay until run done and after so okay, done and now I want to write that data in the Excel sheet. So for that, I take one more action. This is the uh, right, right to Excel worksheet. I will drop over here, and here I use that variable that I that created via get details action from so four and row counter so I use counter variable click on, click on save okay one more one more action is I want to take set variable for increase our count so uh, here, a count variable and plus one so increase our count okay you can see please uh, this chrome but one more action I want to use. This is the display message. Display message. Okay, so here today your age. Today your age is captured or not? So that time okay after this uh action so i want to use this will run Yeah, here you can see all action performing well. Okay, this is the our age message. Okay, done.
So that is the our flow. It's looking fine. Next message is come done. Also third date of birth and this is the third data captured successfully. And here you all action has performed successfully. Close. So here close Chrome and Excel also. Let's see the output. Open it. And here. Here you can see all data is come properly okay. so this is our flow so hope you like this video so please like and subscribe this channel please like and subscribe my channel for more video i will see you in the next video on power automate so thank you for your time.